Welcome back to Mrs. Ballow's Messy Desk. As you can see, my desk is pretty messy, which is the way it kind of goes. This week, we're going to be talking about original characters, uh, cartoon characters, creating them, how to draw them, how to think about them, and then we're going to play with them. This was inspired by um, an assignment for my kids' uh, school. I'll hold this up. This was a comic that she created, and some of you guys have already seen this on social media. Uh, the assignment was for her to draw a comic about what was going on in her life um, with this social distancing and stuff. And I have to tell you, she was a little <clears throat> freaked out because um, she does not like to draw people over and over and over again. And I said, well, you don't have to draw it with a person. You can create a character. And uh, again, she kind of looked at me like, uh, I said, let's just do a blob character. Those are super easy. And so, after going through um, some instruction and some thoughts, we developed um, these little characters that we call blurbs, um, kind of after Blob, and it, anyway. Um, so some of the ones that I've drawn, just some really easy ones, are there's a bunny. Um, I've also drawn a huh, burrito. Her name is Blurbrita. Uh, I've also drawn this cute little cat. Uh, his name is Bartholomew. And then you guys are pretty familiar with, if you've been in my class, Ludwig von Brechthoven. Uh, unfortunately, poor Ludwig is back at school, so I had to make a little cartoon stand-in for him. Um, so these are super easy to draw and a lot of fun, and we're going to take you through the process of doing it. If you've already got a character in mind, you can skip that part uh, and go straight to the assignment. So our challenge this week is going to be to create an original character and then go take your character on adventures. Um, take your character outside, take your character around your house, take your character on your nature walk and put your character in little funny situations where we have to find them like this. You can also take photos like this. In those shots, my character is not very hard to find, but it kind of adds to his story. Once you have taken a bunch of photos, you can create your own story about how your character goes throughout his day. I think that's the most fun part. So now we've got all these fun images, what do we do with them? If you are one of my Shady Oak Artlings, you will be either having your parents email or text the images to me, or we can be sharing them in our weekly online meeting. If you're not one of my Shady Oak Artlings, you can still play. You can have take your pictures. Of course, let's make sure that there's no identifying information, no house numbers, no license plate numbers, no street signs, none of this. Uh, we want your information to be very, very safe. But after you've taken your pictures and you've made sure that there's no way to identify you uh, as a kid in your pictures, you can have your parents upload the pictures onto social media. Uh, you can tag me on Instagram and Facebook. My username is at the art and makerspace. And you can also use the hashtag find the blurb, B-L-E-R-B. And that way I will be able to follow that hashtag and see you online. You can also do this if you're one of my Shady Oak art links too. You can use the social media. What I'm hoping, cross my fingers, is that we will have a whole bunch of find the blurb photos popping up on social media. So if you've already created an original character and you don't need any more instruction, goodbye, see you later. Go take your character, draw them on a piece of paper, and then go take them for adventures and take photos. If you haven't created an original character or would like to learn how to draw a very simple one, stay tuned because we're going to teach you how to do that. So we're ready to draw our original character. I call my characters that I draw blurbs. That's B-L-E-R-B. -E uh, it's kind of like blob, but it sounds a lot cuter. Um, they're super easy to draw and they don't require a whole lot. First, you just need a piece of paper. I like to use goose paper, G-O-O-S, good on one side paper, um, mostly because it's free. Uh, junk mail, anything will work or things that you've already printed out. So just get you a piece of paper. It only has to be blank on one side. You also will need a pencil. Uh, an eraser is really nice, especially if your pencil eraser is starting to get a little sad. 
Um, you will need crayons, markers, colored pencils, you could use paint, something to give your character a little bit of color, and scissors. All right, go get all that stuff and come back. So I've got some paper and a pencil and an eraser. That's pretty much all you need right now. And we're going to practice drawing a basic blurb. My basic blurb has the curly hairstyle. So you start at the top and you draw the hair that you want on your blurb. Mine, like I said, has kind of this curly hair, so I'm going to start with it. Um, you draw whatever hair you want, and in case mine's like this. Then you draw the body, which could be any shape you want. Mine's gonna be kind of round. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and then you do the legs, which start out as little sticks. And then you join them. And then depending on which way you want your feet to go, if he's just standing there looking at you, you give him some little feet. Like that. And then arms. Arms are pretty simple. Uh, most of the time I keep my arms inside the blurb body. It's the simplest way to do it. A couple of fingers. And then a face, which is super simple. Two eyeballs. And I usually don't draw a nose uh, and just the mouth. And that is a basic blurb right there. How do you change them up? Well, you can change up the hairstyles for one. There's a bunch of different hairstyles. Let's see, there is some spiky hairstyle. Here's another blurb that it's got kind of curly fluffy hair but look he's got some bangs and perhaps a face here's another hairstyle another hairstyle ears rabbit ears horns more ears and then all sorts of different faces good grief uh, these are based off of kawaii doodles and so their faces are very <laughs> there's another one that we were practicing um, their faces are really simple, mostly like two dots for eyes and then a mouth. And the mouth is usually in the middle of the where the bridge of your nose would be. They're kind of strange. Uh, think emoji faces. Think um, doodly faces. Um, not super difficult. And so these are some doodle creations. This was the one that Mrs. Bellow's kid designed. His name is Timmy. Uh, and you can see how he's turned in this picture. Again, he's got one leg going behind his body. He's walking here. He's got his tongue sticking out there. Uh, and then these are some other ones. This is Todd. This is Linda. Uh, Jeff. And Bob. Um, and they're all blurb creatures. One that I designed that I think I'm going to play with from now on is named Bartholomew and he's a blurb cat. And so he starts with ears and he's kind of a square shape. So he's got some ears and then he his body just goes straight down into a square. And he has legs and feet and he's just gonna stand here. And then he has a tail. Well, let's do let's do arms. Um, I'm gonna put one arm inside the body. And he's a cat, so he has paws. I'm not gonna do fingers as much as I'll do paws. And that's his other arm. He's waving. And I'll give him a tail. Kitty cat tail. And then he's got toes because he's a cat. And he also has kind of a mask. And these get better every time you draw them. I'm, I also gave him just a nose. He doesn't have a mouth, which is fine with me. Yeah, you do. they do get better every time you draw them. You get more consistent every time. Um, they'll look quite different from one another. Like if I'm going to draw him again, I'll probably draw him pretty different. Let's see if I can repeat that pretty good. The more practice you get, the better you get at drawing them. 
And they don't always look the same. And that's okay. The more you work at it, the better you get. Let's see, I'll try to duplicate what I did. And there's this other arm. It's a little fat, and that's okay. And the face. The good news is they're pretty easy to draw, and so you don't have a big learning curve on getting them done. I suppose he needs a tail really bad, doesn't he? Different tail. Then after you've got your creature created, you just start coloring. So I'll bring in my little graphite crayons here, and they can be colored any way that you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, I chose to make mine, and I will probably go over the edges in a dark color. I like having a dark black outline. And that also allows me, if you've drawn light, you can always erase the lines that you don't want and keep the lines that you do. I had a friend of mine once say that if you draw in blue first, um, it keeps, it just kind of helps him think that he's sketching and not actually drawing for real. But I don't mind drawing in pencil because I draw pretty light. And I also am not very particular about how the way things look, so I will change his tail because it looks like a monkey tail. And then I'll come back in with my eraser. Hopefully not shake the camera too much. Kind of erase some of those lines. And then I'm going to color him. done coloring him you can add shadows if you want um, both of his legs are in the front his arm is behind him a little bit if I wanted to add a tiny bit of shadow right here with maybe a brown I could I could add a little shadow on his tail any places that are behind perhaps even a little shadow under his arm right here I could do that if I wanted you don't have to uh, it does make him look a little bit more dimensional, though. Oh, I forgot his ears. Uh, he's got little pink ears. There you go. So, some things to keep in mind are what happens if you change body position? Okay, so if I want my blurb to be going sideways, um, I haven't drawn him this way yet, so let's try that. I'm, his his hair, since his ears are turning, they're gonna be a little closer together. And draw a light. And this ear is gonna go behind, and this ear will be on top. This ear will be facing front, this ear will be facing the other way. And I'm just gonna square him off like he normally would be. He's a square creature. And then his legs, we're going to have one in behind and one in front. Uh, let's see, I'll put the leg, let's see, I have to, I think I'll put the leg in the back. This leg will be the one that's, that you can see, and then this leg will be the one that you can't. And so what I'll do is come back in here and erase this part. And it looks like he's a little too far away, so come back in here and change his little feet. So this leg, since he's turned this way, this leg connects to the body. This leg has a line signaling that it's behind the body, just like this one. And his tail, I'm also going to draw and erase, and that's probably too far up. I'm gonna draw his tail connected because he's kind of sideways. And I might change my mind about that in a little bit. I might not like that. I might just keep it behind him, behind him. I think I will. And then his face, his since he's sideways, I'm going to make his mask go all the way to the edge. 
and his face is going to be really close. I could probably move this eyeball back just a little bit. But this eyeball is going to be really close to the edge. Like that. And then, let's see, I'll put his arm. His arm kind of still starts about where his face does, so I'm going to put his arm right here. And his little paws. He's got paws. And then this arm is probably just going to be, like, barely visible in the background like that and so when I take it and go over it and that, that ears a little bit too big I'm gonna make it go a little smaller so here's one ear and there's the other one and I think I'll just go straight down from his body And that's it for coloring. So you'll notice the way that I color is kind of in this circular motion, and that's called scumbling. That technique right there is in a circular motion. And what that does is it keeps from creating these little streaks. Like I didn't color him very well up there. He's got little streaks. But when you scumble like this, it keeps your coloring from having this direction. All right, so I will add a few shadows with my brown. The shadows are usually not in black. Um, it's a little too harsh, but I'll add a couple of shadows because I can, just to give it a little bit of depth. And this leg's in the back, so it is shadowed out. And then if I wanted to go back in here and retrace some of the lines that I drew, that would be good. And there's Sideways Bartholomew Blurb. Um, there's many different ways. Let's see, what else could we create? Could we create, hmm, what if he's looking up? So let's try it. I have never tried this before. So he's basically a square, right? He's a square blurb. And then I think I will put his ears kind of back here. And let's just see what happens. I may change it later. Don't know. That's the great thing about drawing. And especially these little blurb creatures because they're so easy to draw. If you don't like the way you did it the first time, you can always draw it again.
Yeah. We'll see. It looks kind of strange. <laughs> Maybe he needs a little bit. Maybe he just needs to be short. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I think I like that. Little ears. Okay. So we're getting there. Experiment. 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 Maybe he only will have one ear. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But I'll just draw him again later. And there he is. There's your blurb. So from here to here to here, you just kind of keep making changes. And then what I did was cut him out and I like to leave a little white space. And then I took him and hit him around my house. And that is all. There's your blurb. So now you know how to draw an original character. It's pretty simple, isn't it? It doesn't require a lot, and you can do um, a lot of things with these cute little characters. Since I shot that video of me drawing, I've done a little bit more. I drew a sleeping Bartholomew, and then I finished my looking up Bartholomew. And you'll notice that I gave him a mouth. I decided to give him a mouth. And that's the cool thing about this, is you can just change your mind whenever you want. Um, it's no big deal. That is it for this week. I hope that you guys are staying safe, uh, staying sane, um, using your art time to take a break from all the craziness uh, and even just being by yourself. Um, art connects us, as we know. Uh, and so until we meet again next time, um, see you later.